Hey guys, this is me, I did the back on eSign History, and today I'm gonna be shooting a video on how to make an easy paper burst assault rifle from Fortnite 2. And let's start with the materials required, which I've got right there scissor, stapler, tape, a marker, and I guess that's about it. Now, other requirements are right there. These are some white AFOs. I will keep that there. And some cardboards. Okay, so we're gonna start with the cardboard because base is needs to be strong. So I don't know from which one should I start. Should be like hmm. Okay then. Let's take uh, this cardboard right here. Oh, poop. I... Come on. I hate when this happens. Okay, anyways, uh, I managed to open it. Now we need to totally open it up. We got this white piece right there, so I'll be opening that up as well. Okay, I'll be back as I cut some cardboards up. There it is. So I finished cutting those stuffs off, and basically you need a lot of these cardboards. And for reference of the size, I'm gonna be using this sniper kind of toy right there. This is not from Nerf, by the way, and I painted it myself. So. And I'm gonna be using this for the grip size and all those size for this because th these two guns are a lot similar to each other. Okay, now we're gonna start off by clearing the space. Let's keep those there. Let's keep those there. Okay, now this will be um, our this this body part right there and. Uh, the burst assault rifle is not exactly like that. It has got a stick magazine, which is at the back side, so it's not at the front side. You guys will see. And now, okay. Let's fold this up like that. There it is. Okay, that's perfect. Now I'll just staple it because staplers are a lot stronger than just ordinary tapes. There it is, one side. One of those done. Now I'm going to do the same with this another one. But this time, it, this one should be a little bit smaller than the previous one. Or it can be a bit bigger than the previous one as well.
there it is. So these two are attached together now to form a bit bigger structure, right? Awesome. Now, I also want this stuff to be like permanently with uh, sticking with this another piece. So I'm going to tape it up. Woo, that's it. That's done. Next up, we need a muzzle. So, um, okay, I'll have the gun piece right there. So, okay, I think I need one more of that piece coming out of it. So, I'll do that later on. But before that, let's create a muzzle. Okay, we've got this thing done. There it is, uh, a stick done. Now I need to roll this thing ab ab above it, like so. Before I do that, let's stick this first. <clears throat> and then let's cut those um, unnecessary pieces off. like that now we can like squish this down and make some muzzle holes some structures like that and on the other side as oops likewise in the other side There it is. Now we can simply put this back in there. There it is. Our muzzle of muzzle is ready. Pretty simple structure, right there. Now I'll put I'll put the muzzle aside for a bit and think on extending this piece a little bit forward. Okay, this is perfect, so I'm just going to fold it like that. Guys, it would be a lot easier for you if you took a long piece. I don't have that long of a piece, so I'm just going to simply use this stuff right there. Okay, next up, attaching this in here permanently. I'll just take that off at, right now and I'll fold this piece like so to make a hole to fit in a magazine right wait where should it be yep it should be in there somewhere in the middle for our stick mag to fit right in there that's too small. Okay. That will do. Now let's just attach this puppy back there. Okay, now I'm... Come on. Okay. 
taking this back there. I have a stapler malfunction, which I solved already. Okay, it's so hard to get this in there. Ah, there it is. Now I can stick it in there permanently using my great tape. There it is. So next up we have we're gonna put this muzzle in there. I guess. And for that we're gonna need is some sort of this one. Nope. Okay, we'll just use this. Now we need a, a piece of cardboard to be shaped as the front of this thing. And we're gonna make a hole in the center. And we can like simply put the muzzle in there. Okay, I've got that piece out and put this thing in there and made a flower so it doesn't like pop out of it. So simply I can like stick this in there using my tape Okay, there it is. So the muzzle's attached pretty much now. Next thing we need to do is we need a magazine, but before that let's create... Hmm, there's a lot of things we could do right now. So we'll just create that uh, sight, I guess, iron sight right now. So for that I'm gonna need another cardboard. Okay, I'll be back. Next up, we gotta draw out a, a you, you know that iron side which I told you earlier. And for that, it is pretty big, so that might be perfect, right? I'm not sure, I think that'll be perfect. So. Let's draw it out. Something like that. Okay, like this. Okay, I think it's something like this. Probably something like that, because, you know, iron sights, they are always so hard to create. <clears throat> yep, I think it's something like that. So I think you guys are remembering what I am trying to create. So it must be like that, right? Yep, now it's tape time. Ok, 
okay on the other side as well Okay, we need a big strip of tape. I'm gonna roll this thing out there. Awesome. So the, the iron side is finished. Now we gotta make the magazine. So, before we make the magazine, how about we make the handle? Okay, we make, we'll make the handle first then. How big should it be? It's too big. Okay, this is the perfect size. There you go. And for the trigger as well. That should be it. So, we're gonna roll this thing in the shape of a handle. Like that. So that's too small. I'm gonna expand it a bit. Okay, it's the same size. Wait. There it is. So I'll just staple it. Oh, why is it not? There it is. So we got that done. There it is. The assault rifle handle is done. That's pretty much it, I guess, right? For the handle. Okay, now it's sticking the handle into this thing time. Okay, it should be a little bit front, but not too front. Okay, so... Let's put a piece right there. Ooh, that's coming together perfectly. The back as well. There it is. The handle is done and it looks sturdy enough. A little bit flexible. Okay, I'll just fix that right now. Um, where is it? Okay, I'll just pull this. Okay, now it should not be a lot flexible. Yep, it's strong. Look at that! That looks awesome, right? Now is the trigger time. So I'm gonna make a trigger in this way. Guess this is gonna work.
Yep, that's awesome. That will work just fine. Now let's stick it on the other side as well. There it is, the trigger is now done. Now the trigger guard, some sort of like this kind of structure. I think assault rifles have big trigger guards. Because we need a flexible movement, right? There it is. Awesome. So I'm pretty much um, unaware because when we put the magazine in there, it's gonna like affect our performance while shooting, right? So I'm pretty much confused about that thing, but other stuffs are looking pretty awesome. So I'll just give it some improvements back here. Okay, now I think this could be a an awesome magazine, so I'll just Okay, it's this fat. How long? This long. Again, this fat. So this might be the magazine. Yep, that's awesome. Now let's stick the magazine together. Okay, my stapler isn't working today. I don't know why is that. The magazine is done, so I'll just make like some design in it. Cool, that's looking great. Now it fits perfectly back there. Awesome. So look, this is what I'm talking about. While, while I'm holding it, this like shifts a bit so but still it looks pretty awesome the trigger actually works so I'm gonna I'm gonna add the um what's that called I literally forgot what's that called anyways I'm gonna add this thing shoulder grip no armrest something like that I'm gonna add that and some designs and I'll be back finally I have completed with my this um, assault rifle right there with the trigger mechanism and here is the shoulder or something called I can't exactly remember it and it's got like those kind of stuff so this is quite sturdy right and I can like and I also added some designs cool designs in there back there so this thing is quite functional because when I put put the magazine in there it's like uh, pretty like you know flexible so first I need to put this stock right there 
and yeah it's called stock i guess and i need to push this thing in there so now it cannot move and if i like push this even there it cannot like even go even a bit so i need to pull it a little bit back then it's quite a removable right so i can push that and it's tight so it's not gonna fall down like that easily so this is quite a cool mechanism so if you just want a video for that mechanism you gotta like this video and comment me in the comment section below and now if i remove that look look at how tight it looks now right so if i remove this top it's so flexible but after i push it in it's not gonna come out so that's it and it's not flexible either so that's pretty much all about my assault rifle and i might have made a mistake i need to make this thing a bit longer and i guess this is it thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it hope you learned to make this kind of cool looking assault rifles and if you did don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video comment me down below what should i do next in my next video and share my videos Thank you. Bye-bye.